hello friends welcome to ctc today we will have an overview of jdk jrd and jvm so jdk is an abbreviation of java development kit which uh, encompasses jrd and the development tools and jrd contains java virtual machine and libraries apis required for specific platform so when you want to develop an application and run an application that time you need jdk because when you have dot java class file you need to compile that file into the dot class file that which contains uh, bytecode so for that we need this java c tool command we can say so that command exists in the JDK comes with the JDK so once you compile that dot Java file into the dot class file then you don't need that JDK you can run that uh, program or we can say application using only GRE which has a launcher tool Java suppose you you are a developer if you are a developer then you need JDK because you are going to write that program and compile that program so for developer JDK is necessary and for your client if you are if you are developing an application for a client then your client won't need JDK your client will need only JRE which has a Java virtual machine Java virtual machine is an abstract machine which is responsible to execute your Java byte code which is there in your dot class file and uh, these are the libraries APIs in build libraries APIs which are also in the byte code so JRS Java launcher tomb is able to run your program so JRE is suitable for the client only JRE if you want if you if you want to run your application on your client's system then your client system need only JRE but if you are a programmer if you want to make any changes or if you want to develop an application then you need whole JDK because you need this Java C tool to compile that so if you want to develop an application then you have to use JDK as a programmer once we compile that and uh, when you install your application to the client system then you don't need to install whole JDK over there you need to install only JRE for an example if you want to run Java program like applet to browsers uh, like uh, Explorer or Chrome Internet Explorer or Chrome or Mozilla then you need only JRE to install on that client's system and that client system will be able to execute that Java code I'll show you that practically suppose test.java is an application I am developing for my client okay so being a programmer I need to have a JDK because I need to compile that dot Java file into the class file so I'll compile this here So you can see here dot class file is created so this java c this java c tool exist in the jdk so being a programmer i need to have a jdk to compile my programs into the dot class file that is byte code so once i compile that now my project is ready i'll test that whether it produces correct output yes it executes properly and gives output as expected so now I want to give this application to my client so I don't need to install JDK on my client obviously it will take much space and time also so what I need to install on the client's system that is only JRE Java runtime environment 
so now what I will do is in the previous tutorial I have shown you we had set the path variable to the bin directory if you remember here we have see in the program file java gdk bin so here you see java c tool which compiles your dot java into the dot class file so now you have compiled that but we don't need jdk on the client system so we need only this gre we need only this gre to be installed on client system so what we will do now is we will remove this path from here okay so now so now our system doesn't know anything about java c because we haven't given any path of that so it is unaware about that so now just assume that we have uninstalled gdk we have only this gre file which has a java launcher tool and which we are going to use to run our application so what we have to do is we just have to give this path here now we are giving the path of gre only not a jdk previously we had set jdk's path as you can prove that see java c is not a recognized command so now we need only java launcher tool which resides in gre java runtime environment so we can run our application on clients machine in this way so if you want to develop and run any program or application then you need jdk and if you just want to run your application on clients machine then you need only jre so here you can see this is the path which here is the development tools and these are library and java virtual machine jdk I hope this video was helpful to you. Please check out my other videos too. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more videos. It makes huge difference. Thank you.